What's up, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy, Kid, back at it again. Hope everyone is doing great. You're going to see me a little small on this screen right now because we're going to go um, put this link up. And this is going to be our very first Benny Dorm tier uh, list. I'm making sure that this is popping up on the screen right now. All right. Um, so my man Tyler suggested that we do this. And, um, you know, everyone's list is going to be different as far as what characters they like what they dislike. So this is purely going to be from my journey of watching the show characters I liked, disliked, don't really care about, etc., etc. So that being said, there are going to be some characters that I do not know their names. I just don't remember it, not memorable enough, whatever, or just my silly dumb brain, you know, not working well. So let's get this one started. Uh, we're going to grab this guy here. I thought this guy was pretty bad guys i just didn't really care for this character i know he had some moments uh with janice kind of that love interest kind of like, like puppy doll kind of thing but i just really thought he was just such a crap character um i didn't care for it the fact that i don't know his name nah <laughs> i'm sorry guys uh wasn't feeling him uh my man martin I thought was a good character overall. I didn't really like him in the beginning, especially when he was uh, dealing with his wife, that he just didn't stand up for himself, really didn't have, you know, like a pair of balls and stuff. And I find that a lot of dudes are like that. They just don't stand up. They just like almost yes men um, taking the orders and, and just don't even think about something. They're like, yes, okay, 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 I'm going to do that. So I didn't really like him in the beginning. Like I was like, eh, you know, whatever. But he grew on me. Finally growing up a pair, you know, showing Mateo, you know, who's boss, trying with the, you know, the arm wrestling thing. I, I thought, he, you know, he'd grown into uh, a better character. And when he came back onto the show uh, without his, you know, his wife or whatever at the time, and he came in with uh, Brandy, I thought that was cool. Uh, and even when he came in later seasons for, for just a, for, for a little bit. Um, I actually miss the character. So that's always a good thing if you can actually genuinely miss a character. Um, we got my man's Joey. I did not like the character at all, but he did grow on me. The, the, the funny thing about it, if you see a character enough, they have a way of kind of like being tolerable. Um, he was he was at the terrible in the beginning. Like I was like, damn, this guy sucks. But he had some funny moments with that kind of like Borat scene. I thought that he gelled so well with Tiger. You know, Tiger would say something, he'd be like, and he's the dumb one kind of. So um, we all have some of those, oh, our friends that are not the sharpest whistle. I'm sometimes uh, dumb myself. So I thought overall um, he ended up being an okay character. Um, if it wasn't for him and Tiger you would see um, how shit his other friend is. Like, you're like, all right, man. Yeah, we miss Tiger. So um, him and Tiger's dynamic were very good. Uh, let's grab someone. Let's see. We, 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 we're going to get someone who we thought was just okay. And Garvey's daughter, Chantel, was I was not really a fan of. The only thing that I really kind of enjoyed from her was um, the bickering between her and Madge. That I thought was really cool. Other than that, like, you know, when she started getting this love interest with Jeff and all that stuff, I started thinking this thing getting a little crazy. Um, so I kind of was glad that, like, she didn't show up uh, after a certain point on the show. Now, you guys may disagree. You might love the character. But I was like, eh, that's all right. I, I didn't really, I wasn't really feeling that character. Um, one character, though, and I see it right now, and we're going to, I want to start this one off definitely uh, with the God tier is my boy Mel. I think Mel was absolutely um, unforgettable in every moment um, that he shared on screen. He um, provided many, 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 many good laughs. Uh, you know, he loved Madge, obviously. He loved Madge so much, but uh, you can never forget him in his kind of like his Speedos, if I'm saying it right. Um, or Thong, Mel Thong, whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that shit. Uh, he came in there, man. And, bro, I was like, yo, this guy is crazy. So, um, a, a man that was um, very strong, uh, knew what he wanted, and, you know, give zero Fs. You know what I'm saying? This was this man. I loved his moment with the helicopter scene, you know, being a hero. This man freaking legendary he deserves to be on this spot 
Um, and he and he's going to be in my spot again. This is my opinion. Who I really liked. Um, second character, we got to put my boy Mick. I'm just grabbing characters. I'm not really going in order. Um, and I'm going to say a little bit. Mick, Mick and um, Madge's relationship was magnificent um, in every way. Very special. It reminds me a lot of my family when we're bickering and shit like that. Um, it's hard not to love the Garvey family. They were the top family of the show. I don't even think there really is much of a debate as far as it goes. Uh, although I really did like them with the Dyke family hanging out together. That was another family that I thought was really good as well. So, Mick is definitely on the God tier. Uh, we need to put, uh, let's see, let's see where we got, where we got. Madge. Uh, make sure this is Madge. <laughs> all right, all right. We got Madge. Her dynamic with Mick, fantastic. You know, coming in hot. Uh, she, she's another chick that gives zero Fs. Uh, tells it how it is. She's always smoking. She'll run you over. She had those matchups against people with the lotion just squirting all over. She gave a lot of, uh, uh, there was a lot of spunk flying up in the air, guys. I know what that means. Uh, or jizz, uh, you know, from the lotions that made me laugh. Very, very cool, um, chick. Towards the later season, she kind of seemed like she mellowed a little bit, but then she then go back to, uh, her, her ways. So, uh, one lady that you just couldn't forget. You loved her hanging out with Mel. Um, I thought that was great. Janice, the beautiful lady, the love interest of my boy, Mick, his wife, loved her on the show. A lot of uh, strength on this lady. Um, you know, she had a lot of fire. Um, you know, very similar to a Latin lady, guys. Uh, you, know, to, uh, you know, to my Hispanic ladies, uh, my Latinas. Uh, she had she had that fire, so um, very relatable. And a lot of these characters are very relatable. Everybody on this god tier right now is freaking phenomenal. Um, she was uh, excellent addition. Um, the only time, you know, with this wanker on the bottom here, that little interest part was crazy. But she was fierce. She's a fighter. Uh, she'd do anything for her family, and that's what a, a tough mom would do. So. Fantastic. I couldn't imagine seeing the show without um, these four right now. And we're going to be adding some more uh, to the show, uh, to the list, guys. Excuse me. So this is my first time doing it, guys. Go easy on me, man. Um, we'll go with the Oracle. Jeff, the man. Um, phenomenal, 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 phenomenal character on the show. Uh, his uh, <laughs> relationship with his mom was uh, amazing to see uh, Blossom on the show. Um, you know, him sometimes I, I, early on, he was like, damn, my man's is hard on his mom. But when you un unravel Noreen and you see, you kind of understand why, you know, sometimes he can be frustrated, uh, with his, his mom, but all in good taste, all in good laughs. And I could not imagine watching a show without him. And even Noreen, Noreen is going to be going on the God tier a little bit for me in a second. Bless her. What a wonderful addition. You can't help but love her. Um, you know. Such a great character on the show. And, you know, both of them in the early seasons really um, made the show uh, stick out for me. The show is very, like, um, in-depth with characters. There's a lot of depth to it. Um, and that's just, you, you got to give credit where credit is due. Uh, great cast, you know. Whoever, I forgot the name, uh, you know, casted these people. Uh, you know, good job. You know, there's always like a casting director. Obviously, uh, Darren, you know, we love Darren uh, as his character as Elvis. I'm going to put it as good. If we're just going based on the show, then I would have put him in the God tier for creating this freaking masterpiece of a show that we enjoy. But as far as characters go, we're going to put him as good. Um, his boss, Vass, uh, uh, something Vass. Uh, you know, we suck with name Crystal Hennessy Vass. Yeah, there we go. Um, I thought she was a good character. Obviously, a lot more of you all knew, uh, are more familiar with her than me. Um, she definitely was like that mean boss to Joyce. Uh, always getting on Joyce. And um, I thought she was definitely a good addition when we did see her in spurts. Uh, I thought, yeah, that, that's pretty much my honest opinion on that. Uh, let's see. We got this bootleg Dr. Oz character. I could care less for the character. Um, he's on borderline bad or borderline okay. I'm, I'm leaning towards just an okay character. 
Um, no one I couldn't stand where like I, I feel like I'm gonna vomit. Um, definitely not like the other guy, so I'm probably gonna lean him on to uh, okay. I don't remember his name, so that's probably a bad sign here. Um, but it is what it is. Troy and Gavin. We're gonna grab Troy and Gavin. I thought these characters on the show were brilliant. Gavin was always kind of like that, that moany kind of like bitchy dude. Uh, and, and, and Troy, um, you know, had some funny moments. I will never forget the moment that they had uh, when he had with Ma Mateo. Mateo. Uh, I will never forget that. So the, the crazy thing about characters, they leave a lot of impressions and, and memories uh, to you. You know what I'm saying? And each probably holds special to everyone else, right? But um, having them on the show was brilliant. Even when Troy came back later on, I liked that. Um, him hanging out with Kenneth, uh, Liam, you know, being the boss. So just a little bit, that I thought that was cool. Um, I was happy to have him back. And whenever a character came back, you kind of knew whether you liked it or not, because you were happy whether they were back or not. So um, I thought that was a great addition. We got to go with, oh, yes, Miss Jacqueline. And I'm going with, rest in peace, um, Donald. Uh, you know, my man Donald. Um, his character and, and Jacqueline's character uh, were very special on the show. Always full of positive vibes. Uh, good memories. I remember their run-ins in the hotel with Mateo <laughs> and that ending scene and one of the ending scenes. Swingers Association, baby. Uh, we got nothing but love for the Swingers Association here. Um, one of the two best characters, my boy um, Donald in his little nurse outfit uh, was freaking hilarious. Um, he was sorely missed on the show. Definitely sorely missed on the show. When... Um, Jacqueline came with this guy. I don't remember his name right now. He, you just ended up missing um, Donald. And, and it's no fault of uh, this guy because it's hard to replace Donald. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it just, it's impossible. So I didn't really like the character. He was kind of boring character. Um, he's on borderline bad or okay. Um, I, I'm going to just put him as just an okay character. Uh, I couldn't stump stand him. Um, like, it, it, I don't put him on the same level as this wanker on the bottom, but um, he was just an okay character. Uh, we will go with poor little Jody. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Jody Dawson. She's on the terrible. I just did not like the character at all. Uh, the only moment that was semi decent was, uh, you know, when Eddie pushed her. Um, and that was pretty much it. I just. Just a forgettable character for me. Uh, not one that I really enjoyed seeing. And again, young actor on, on this one. Obviously, we saw her from um, Friday Night Dinner uh, with Adam, you know, uh, being, a, you know, like the doggy. But um, I just didn't really like her, uh, you know, on the show. My man's Sammy, who loves you, was just a bad character. Uh, had, you know, just bad. I just didn't really like it. Um, just no ifs, no buts, just, ah, just not for me, guys, sorry, I know he's making that face, like, kid, how could you say that, I'm sorry, Sammy, I know you've been around, and people have mentioned and all this stuff, and you're better and all this stuff, but here, I just didn't like you guys, and again, we can all agree to disagree, but that's what I feel, I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry, Natalie, she's going into bed, I gave almost zero Fs about this one as well, Obviously, Mateo wanted to, you know, uh, bang City all day uh, with Natalie, but I just didn't really like her. Um, she was definitely a character when it came in. I just didn't really give a crap about it, if I'm being honest. But Sam was definitely more impressionable because she was just very biatchy. Um, you know, would stand up for Natalie a little bit for Mateo. So I kind of enjoyed that. Um, she had some interesting moments with Joey and I was happy to have her back, but I would put her on the good. I don't a very good character overall. Um, even when she came with our home girl, Trudy, I actually liked Trudy. I thought she was funny. Uh, she had a little bit of fire to her as well. She didn't tell you, you know, she would tell you how it is. Um, she definitely stand up for friends. She was very, um, she would just tell you like if she, she had the hots for someone or whatever, like she was very sexual. So I, I always dig people who are very honest 
And um, I did like Sam with Trudy way better than Sam with Natal uh, Natalie or whatever. I just, pfft, eh. not for me, guys. Just not for me, guys. Um, let's grab another one. Uh, Michael, I thought, was a good character overall. Definitely better than Chantel's character. We got to see him progressively get older as the show goes on. And he had a better impression, uh, you know, hanging out with Tiger, their friendship. I actually enjoyed the friendship that they had before it went with Joey. Uh, you know, the little uh, competition a little bit between Tiger and him for the girl. I thought that was cool. And out of the, the kids for the... The Garvey family, definitely better than uh, Chantel. Um, Chantel fans, my bad. But uh, yeah, Michael's a little higher than that. So let's grab another one. We got Martin's girlfriend. I just thought she was just an okay character. I didn't really like her that much. Kind of snobby. Um, you know, running Martin's life kind of thing. And I just wasn't feeling her character. So just an okay character. Um, she got me feeling a certain way. So in that sense, that's, that's an okay character for me. Uh, my man's, <laughs> I got to put him. Well, it's two of them, but you got Leslie here is God tier. And we're going to put Les, Mateo. Uh, I just love this character. You know, Leslie coming in with Jeff. I know Jeff, I'm going to put him next for a second. He'll never, for, he'll never forget. <laughs> Although they try to forget. They'll never forget. Uh, uh, their encounter, you know, you got Jeff with his little AOL, you know, dating shit. I love that. That shit was hilarious. So um, I thought I that was a character when I first watched him, uh, Leslie, that I, uh, I wanted that character to, to come back more and more uh, on the show. So very happy. Um, I, I don't think the show, I couldn't like even imagine the show without um, Leslie, Les, um, just Wonderful, wonderful addition on, on the show. So they're God tier for me. Um, I hope we can add more to the God tier because there's still a lot that I want to put on the God tier um, based on this list. Now, uh, the Dyke family, I really enjoyed Clyde and Tanya. I really love them on the show. They both go on brilliant uh, for me. I really liked and enjoyed them hanging out with um, the Garveys. I thought it was a nice dynamic, a little bit fighting, a little tension going on. I thought that was all badass. Um, I really liked it. And, I, you know, you guys have mentioned a while back that she was on Game of Thrones. Shame. Shame. That's one of my sound effects on Twitch, and I never even knew who she was. So, seeing Tanya on the show, loved her. Uh, beautiful lady. Um, you know, we did read a little bit about some of her experiences on the show, and some parts weren't unpleasant were unpleasant, and I did feel bad reading that. I won't go into it so we don't get into the drama, but um, reading that, you know, made me a little bit sad because such a nice lady that you can see from a show. Um, but I liked the, the Dyke family. The daughter, I thought, was just an okay character. Beautiful girl, but just an okay character. Tiger, I'm going to move up to good with Michael. I really enjoyed uh, Tiger. Where's Tiger at? Yeah, Tiger. Uh, Tiger uh, coming into the show, uh, a good fit. I actually even think that he's better than Michael. Um, but I, so I, you know, I'm, I'm torn. I'm torn between good and brilliant. But I'm gonna stick it with uh, good. But I definitely think that he was better than Michael's character, 100. Uh, that's just how we feel, boys and girls. Um, let's see. We got Mateo, the man. The freaking legend, the dance champion, uh, you know, smooth with the ladies somewhat, always messing up. Uh, can I get a picture of Lemonade? I'll never forget that scene. And he has the Lemonade, his scenes with Troy. Um, you know, it was a character that you didn't, people didn't even like. And like, you know, he's this playboy character trying to bang as many chicks as possible. I mean, no different than any person on, on a hotel thing. They, they try to bang a lot of the visitors. I, that's just the experience. It's shit that I've heard uh, when I used to converse with some staff and shit. Uh, so, you know, you hear a lot of stories. So, I mean, this character portrayed beautifully. I think he did a freaking phenomenal job. So much strength to the character that he was there literally every episode, which was phenomenal. Um, great run. You, you're always rooting for him down the road. Um, and I, and I loved it. I love, I loved seeing this character every minute of the, uh, of the show. So he can't go to me. 
I'm sure maybe some people might put him on brilliant, but he was God tier for me. I was just very happy to have him on the show. Um, we're going to get another brilliant, which is Pauline. Her performance throughout the show, you know, her being drunk, her hanging out with the family, even when she came in introduced with Noreen, I thought it was a good dynamic. Um, you know, she's funny, she's witty. Uh, and when she had that crazy run in with uh, Mark Keep's character, you know, character, uh, my man Mark Keep, um, I forgot the character name right now. You know, I'm bad with names, guys. Um, I thought that thing was crazy, crazy, crazy. So I'm going to put Pauline at brilliant. Uh, I might get some shit here from my Friday night dinner crew, but I thought that Mark Keep in this was good to brilliant. I think that if you would have been in even longer into the show, it would have been brilliant. Um, I wanted to see more. So I'm a little bit torn on this one and it's debatable. You guys might be hot, have them even in God tier, but I'm just going to put them on good. Um, I would say that um, these are not in any particular order of good guys or anything like that. Uh, maybe we can order them afterwards to see what how we feel for that. But the God tiers, I'm not going to mess up that alignment, but I would have probably had it like something like uh, something like this. Um, let me see if I can move it over. Let's see. It would be something roughly like this. Um, Sam, I'll put it like that. So that would roughly be like kind of like how I felt on certain characters. Um, let me see who else we got. Uh, let's see. Let's see. We got uh, Eddie, the man. I thought he was brilliant on this thing. Him pushing little jo uh, Jody that should have me dying. His uh, getting that um, that moment when he saw the... Um, his grandson's chick, he was like almost fainting and stuff. He's like, oh my God. That's like any old dude uh, seeing some hot chick for like the, the uh, uh, young chick for the first time. He's like, whoa, God damn, my heart. You know, so like Eddie, another character that rests in peace, um, you know, that we ended up really liking on the show. As far as the family goes, him and the grandma, let me see if we find her, were great additions on the show. The rest of the family members on the show, I just thought were okay. Uh, husband was okay. Bill, I think his name, Billy, was okay. Uh, the wife, I couldn't stand. I, I couldn't stand her in the beginning. I was thinking she was like terrible, biatch, all that, all that in a bag of chips. She ended up being just okay. She finally redeemed herself a little bit where you actually see a smile. And you actually see that she's nice. At the end of the day, she loved her family and would do pretty much anything for it, but... She's no Janice. She ain't. She ain't gonna never fill that that role. That void of Janice is missed. So an okay character in my book. Um, the kids chick bad. Um, obviously eye candy, but nothing like that I really cared about besides that. Like all right, she's hot, but many many chicks are hot in the world. So you know, far of that like the acting was eh. So eh, not really feeling her. The son, he was an okay character on the show. Um, I didn't mind him. He had his crazy moments when he was a little drunk and shit. But I definitely preferred Michael and Tiger over him. Um, it's just very hard to compete against the Garvey. So out of those children, he's the third. Uh, let's see who we got. Miss Joyce is God tier. There's no, no um, doubt in my mind that she's God tier. Uh, you couldn't help but remember her name. Miss Joyce Temple Savage, when she had the little speaker thing, doo -doo -doo, and she kept doing it like every couple seconds and stuff, you just couldn't help but remember, uh, not remember her name. Even for a guy like me that's not good at remembering, I end up remembering her name. So that speaks volumes for me. Um, wonderful character, easily falling in love. Uh, always thinking about some booty calls. You get the wrong message real quick. Uh, absolutely loved her character. Very, very good character. I loved her with Monty. Um, obviously she had some other guys that were very interested. Uh, Monty, I'm going to put as brilliant. Um, you know, my man, John Chalice, uh, rest in peace. You know, we've lost, a, I'm looking at the cast. We've lost a few and it, it does still hurt, but their work lives on. Um, I'm happy that he was able to be on Benny dorm. I thought fantastic addition to the show. Um, chips and rice, baby chips and rice. Brilliant character, boys and girls, uh, tiger's friend or Joey's friend. I'm putting it on terrible. I just didn't really care about the dude. Uh, just really didn't care. Um, we had the former 
hotel manager, I think it was Janie, actually enjoyed her in the beginning and then started to dislike her. Anybody feel the same on that? I actually enjoyed her more in the beginning when she was kind of like uh, messing with Mateo, um, you know, like, you're going to be fired. You know what I mean? Like, I, I kind of liked that about her. And then after a while, I just like ended up disliking her. When you get Joyce and now you got Janie, Joyce just wins your heart over. Um, you just end up rooting for Joyce every single time. So she was an okay character. I'm actually could put her anywhere between okay and good. I'm going to stick with my guns right now and put it on okay. Brandy? What can we say about Brandy? If I hope I got the right name. Um, good character. Beautiful. I liked her with hanging out with Martin because you're rooting for Martin because he had that other chick. That's like, ugh. Couldn't stand her. So he kind of, in my eyes, he upgraded a little bit, even though she was using him, um, which, you know, you feel sad about. Um, I thought she was beautiful on the show. Happy to have her on the show. Would have liked to see more, but that's just me. You know, I might be a little biased, but I thought overall she was a good character on the show. Um, my man's hail and pace. I would have loved to see more of them on the show. Um, I thought they were really good characters on the show, you know, being the little cops and all that stuff. Uh, I, w I wanted to see more. I think if they would have been in more series, maybe they would uh, go up higher on the brilliant. Obviously, we saw some sketches with Hale and Pace, um, and we really got to see their their magic. Um, so I am I'm thinking good for now, and you guys can agree to disagree. No worries with me. This is just my list, guys. Um, Mr. Wu. Mr. Wu was a good character. I, uh, you know, saving the day a little bit in, in some moments, uh, you know, always had some sort of an answer. Uh, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Always made me remind of Ice Cube a little bit uh, with his rap song. And I thought it was just a good, enjoyable character. Crazy laugh. That laugh was freaking crazy. Um, very crazy, crazy, crazy laugh. Let's see. Uh, unfortunately, I do not remember this guy's name. And I'm just going to put them on okay. Um, I'm sorry on this one. This one, I don't remember the name at all. There's a few I don't remember the names, but just an okay character for me. Uh, this guy was okay as well. He helped out the Garvey family, and I like that about him. Um, you know, although they had their reservations or, or weren't really trusting of that, ended up working out for them. My man Kenneth has to be on God tier. And the blow and go shop owner who almost never worked and never did nothing was hilarious. Uh, having his little castaways, little Britney moments, little Michael Jackson thriller moments coming out. Um, just a fantastic character. The love interest uh, that he had with that big dude um, was freaking hilarious. They don't have that dude in here, but he would have just been an okay, bad character. Like, I just didn't care for him. Um, no replacement for Les. Uh, uh, just an okay character. This guy here, don't know, I don't remember his name. Uh, Jeff's uh, crazy tall chick was a, just a bad character, just a biatch character. Didn't really like her. Um, could do without her. You know, you mess with Jeff. Sorry, you got you got to go on a lower tier. This guy was an okay character. Not my favorite. Uh, definitely not my least favorite. Just an okay character for me. My man's who can sing. Just an okay character. On the show, I think this is the guy that's always doing the performances at the uh, at the bar. Uh, performance wise, if he was, if we're going singing and stuff, brilliant god tier. But as far as acting and all that, not much we can really say about him. I don't even know um, what would you guys put him on on your list if you guys were doing a list. Janie's like cousin, I thought was bad. Didn't really care about him. You trying to mess with Mateo, you're gonna lose on that one. There's no better barman. The Mateo. So, bad characters. So, there's a few characters that are bad and terrible. Again, everybody's list is subject to change. Um, this chick here, uh, I thought was an okay character. Obviously, a beautiful character. Um, but, yeah, you, you didn't, like, when they were gone, you didn't really care. Like, you didn't feel such a blow, if that makes any sense. So, just an okay character for me. Uh, homeless man, dance champ. I thought was uh, a good character. He had his moments uh, with Mateo that I liked and with Joyce. Uh, obviously, he had some love with Joyce. Joyce has been around the block as far as having a lot of people who fall in love with this chick. So I thought he was a good character on the show. Um, Dyke's sister, I thought she was cool. She had some great moments. Uh, when she got hit with Mateo, uh, 
Uh, that shit had me dying a little bit. I felt bad, but it, it had me laughing. And when she came out all dialed up, you had a nice, beautiful moment with um, Clyde. And um, I enjoyed that uh, very much. Last, but certainly not least, I had doubts early on about Mr. Liam. I honestly did. Uh, I was had him like as like a bad, okay character when he first came out in the show. Like, I wasn't really feeling him. And people said, give it some time. We always give things time anyway. We don't fully say, yeah, this character sucks or anything like that. But you end up rooting for the kid. Uh, you end up rooting for the kid. And um, his relationship with his dad had me crying. Uh, you know, inside, inside, not physically. But uh, always crying inside. Beautiful moments. His friendship with uh, Kenneth was amazing. You know, uh, remember the bus scenes, you know, when he's leaving and everyone's, you know, sad. You feel for him. And when he came back, you, you, you're you happy that he's here. So I'm torn between, in my voice crack, torn between good and brilliant. Honestly. Uh, and I'm, I'm actually going to give him more benefit of the doubt because I actually ended up really liking the character. He actually grown on me. Um, so I'm going to put him in the category of brilliant. Now, you guys, again, may disagree, disagree. But my God tier, um, for me, is undebatable, guys. That's my God tier right there. Uh, I don't think there's anybody I would change out of there. Um, I think each and every one of those characters is very, very special on the show. Um, yeah, I'll be very interested to read uh, some of your thoughts on it. Um, yeah, I do apologize for some of the characters' names that I don't know. Um, I've never been... It's never been my strong suit remembering characters. And as we can see from this show, there is a lot of characters on this show. I don't know. It looked like 30 plus characters on the show. So um, it is a lot to, to learn when I'm also trying to remember other characters on other shows. Uh, you know, so I hope we did uh, the best. We, we did the best we could with what we got in our brain. And this is our first tier list ever. So um, I'm very happy that we did this. Shout out to Tyler who suggested that we do this. This is uh, our first time. So we just popped the cherry up in this piece. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, this is some different type of content on the channel. It's actually pretty fun doing. Um, it makes you miss the, the show. Makes you remember a lot of the special moments. And if you want, guys, it would um, I would love for you guys to say, what was one of your favorite moments on the show? I'm going to say mine one last time. I loved when Jeff um, came flying <laughs> through the parachute, basically, and he hit Mel, and he knocked him the hell out. I'll never forget that scene, and um, that was probably one of my top scenes. Um, I just think that Mel's character was uh, very special. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is my list. Um, I'll try to see if I can save this picture. If anybody wants to see, I'll probably, maybe I'll pop it into Discord, my tier list. Maybe everyone can make a tier list of their own. I don't know. Uh, but I can always put the tier maker list and you guys can put your own list in, in the comments. We'll see if we remember this thing. But thank you so much. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me um, watch Benny Dorm. You know, thank you for taking part in the journey. Um, couldn't do it without you all. Thanks for being understanding that, you know, we're going to mess up sometimes. We're going to say some wrong things. Um, let me see if we can get it. Yeah, you know, we're going to mess up on names. Uh, you know, we, we, we can't get every joke. You know, it's impossible for me. Please understand that we're an American. Uh, you know, I ain't never going to get every single joke, um, but it's never going to stop me from watching and enjoying something. Uh, I don't care that I miss certain things, uh, you know, my first bout. And I may still miss things, but uh, it's so special watching a lot of these shows. So I hope you felt uh, some sort of way. Uh, and we'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this list. Uh, so thank you. See you next time. Peace.